really sort of wanted to just push the bounds of, of what was possible. I'm Billy Tallheimer, co-founder and CEO at Region. I'm Mike Klinker, co-founder and CTO at Region. I grew up in the Boston area and had a lot of friends in New York. And it is such a pain to get to New York from Boston. It's so hard to get between, you know, whether it's LA to San Diego, LA to San Francisco. Everyone we talk to it kind of resonates with that story of, I want to get here, but I can't because there's no good way. So I started diving deep into ground effect vehicles and realizing that their, their primary problems were on wave tolerance and, and maneuverability and safety. And actually those were all things that could be solved with new technology. When Billy came to me with this idea of, hey, let's build the sea glider, I knew exactly, like, hey, like, this is possible. I can sort of go out and, and sell the dream and form the business and Mike could actually deliver at the end of the day and build the thing. I was told to reach out to a former colleague of mine, Billy Talheimer. Uh, I came on, I think officially as employee number three full time, meaning that I, I signed my paperwork, I think, before anyone else. His first start date was before mine, but I signed my paperwork before him. <laughs> they wanted me also to be a chief engineer. Should I go a chief engineer? Sure. Dan, Brian, and myself were really the first three employees. We had a, a bit of a kickoff meeting with the five of us at Brian Baker's house. You know, it was a very scrappy little startup type of thing. You know, I remember at one point we closed a deal and Mike showed us on his phone the bank account and we knew now we're off to the races here, like we have real money, we gotta hire, who are we gonna hire? My name is Jackie Banning and I'm a systems engineer here at Region. My name is Andrew Levin, I'm the lead embedded software engineer. My name is Andrew Ganner and I'm the structures lead at Region. I'm Mike Tilley, I'm a senior mechanical engineer. My name is Brad Buskirk, I'm a senior aerodynamics engineer here at Region. I'm Andrew Gregg, I'm the test operations lead at Region. Our largest pressure here is certainly time. You know, we, we are talking about building a pretty, you know, sophisticated craft in a really short amount of time. Welcome to Bristol, Rhode Island, where we're in the final stages of integration of our quarter scale concept demonstrator vehicle, known affectionately as Squire. Specifically, the key technical things we need to prove with Squire here are these mode transitions. We float, foil, fly, uh, and so it's on us and the engineering team to show that we can control these modes to therefore ensure safe operation of our full-scale vehicle. So we're going from a fluid that's incredibly dense to one that is not, and this is, this is a unique transition you know, for, for any vehicle out there, really. With us, with the marine pathway, we can actually use some different techniques, kind of push a little bit harder than just the traditional aerospace and bring in some more of the naval architecture. There, there's all kinds of avenues where I think we're, we're gonna be able to accelerate uh, using the marine uh, standards, if you will, as opposed to the aviation ones. This wing and ground effect aspect allowed us to operate under the jurisdiction of the Coast Guard, which would allow us to move very quickly to get to a, a flight vehicle, something that we could test. Over the course of six months, we, we designed and built something that has a six meter wingspan. It's about three meters in length and weighs almost 200 kilos. That, that's pretty impressive for a very small team in a very short time frame. We have so much to do. Uh, we've got a big test campaign ahead and, and lots more building to do to make this three to four times bigger. Um, but right now, let's focus on Squire and let's christen this vessel.